Now, for more on these classified documents, I'm joined by Eleanor Clift. She's a political columnist at The Daily Beast. Eleanor, great to have you on the program again. Now, this is a pretty complicated case here. These documents were discovered months ago, but the drip feeding of new discoveries is coming to light now with more docs do documents discovered just in the last few hours. Break down for us what we know so far. Well, we know that uh, President Biden doesn't know what's in these documents that he had no knowledge that these classified documents were in his possession, either at his home or in his office. And so this looks like an inadvertent mishandling of classified uh, in information, which makes it very different from what the former president is charged with, who actually knowingly took documents and refused to give them back to the archives and insists they are his, and there's a sort of a legal standoff there. So it's two very different situations, but the fact that the current president now uh, has been in possession illegally of uh, classified documents, it does kind of even the political playing field and raises the question that if you uh, prosecute one person, do you prosecute the other? If you let one person off, do you let the other person off? Now, there, a special counsel is, is involved in each case, and the Department of Justice, by law, has to pay, uh, give great weight to what the special counsel finds, and if they disagree, they have to go to the Congress with their disagreement. So this is really in the hands of these two special counsels, both of which uh, have uh, impeccable credentials, and if anything, they're on the Republican side and are uh, uh, have served in the Trump administration. So that should eliminate some of the political uh, backlash. Yeah. But um, the White it House raises also the bigger question, wh why do we have so much classified information floating around that the archives didn't even miss it for, what, six or eight years when it was in uh, Biden's uh, possession? Mm. And it turns out there are there's something like four million people who have security clearances. Obviously, people are not taking this as seriously as they should, or a lot of information is stamped classified almost routinely. The so White House has I, been quite transparent, though, about this. They, they, you know, by announcing this, particularly this latest discovery, is that a strategic move by the White House? Does it undermine the Justice Department in any way? Well, I, I think they are trying to play it by the book, saying that they didn't disclose it themselves because it's up to the archives department and it wasn't up to them to disclose it. And now they see it mushrooming as a political problem, so they're trying to get out some of the information ahead of time. I don't think it undermines anything with the Department of Justice. I mean, this is kind of, you know, it's, a, it's, it's the way the media operates. Everybody wants to show they're tough and they can be tough on yeah. on, on presidents. And uh, But this will get sorted out by the two special counsels who I think uh, have, have great integrity and they know what they're doing. So we'll get the answers, I hope, sooner rather than later. Of course, we've only got really, you know, a short time in the grand scheme of things until the general election. Trump is the only Republican to de declare he's running uh, for the election. So as of now, this could be another Biden versus Trump race, really. What could this mean for Biden, especially given that he's taken the high ground to criticise Trump so far over the discovery of classified documents at Mar-a-Lago? How much political liability will there be, regardless of what Democrats say, given that Republicans are desperate for ammunition? Yeah, I just don't think the Republicans could make that big an issue over Biden, because the case against the former president is obstruction and refusing to return documents and hiding documents and claiming he returned documents when he didn't, whereas the Biden situation is pretty straightforward and it looks like an inadvertently uh, mishandling by himself. He's ultimately responsible, but there are a lot of staff people involved. So they're all going to be interviewed. They're all going to have to pay lawyers. Uh, but we will find out the chain of custody of the documents that are in uh, the Biden's uh, hands. And I, I, I just think with everything else going on in the world, we don't want to repeat what we did in this country in 2016, where we made Hillary Clinton's careless use of emails, which were, it was nothing nefarious or illegal. And 
it became this huge issue overshadowing everything else. I hope I hope mm-hmm. the media is able to kind of sort this out and put it in perspective mm-hmm. better than they did the last time.